Good evening, everybody. So this is going to be my little mini series. I don't know how it's going to work out this summer with the pandemic, but we're going to see what's going to happen. But I'm going to be doing a little bit of shooting and do a little bit of RV life with Mr. Tupple of And uh, with the Vincent RV, we call her Tag Along. So today I'm just going to be walking around the outside and inside since I just got out of storage. See what's broken, what's not broken. Because that's what you have to do with this kind of stuff, right? So I already had checked all the lights prior to um, hitting the road to bring it home. So I know that's working. So what I always do is um, I always open up everything and turn on everything to make sure everything is working. Hey, Karen. So make sure no critters have been stuck away. So I pull this out. I'm going to have to clean it. Um, the canopy. I wanted to check it for, you know, see if it was still on there good and sturdy. Hello, Sir Joseph. Let's turn all the lights on too. Make sure all the lights are working. So that seems to be working. You never want to get out to the site and find out that stuff's not working, right? I checked all the seals. Trust me, this is stuff you think about because once you get to where you're going, you don't want any problems. Check to make sure everything is in place. I opened the windows too. You, you'd be surprised. One time I went to open the window and it wouldn't slide right because I guess it, the weight had shifted or something like that. So you want to check all that stuff too. We have the hybrid. We got this on purpose. We didn't want the, uh, this one actually, this thing will hold eight people. Has two queen beds and then two other pullouts. So I took it out to make sure. Yeah, we have the awning cleaner. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to have to do that. So um, checking for all the cracks and stuff. Make sure there are no cracks. Make sure the screen's in really nice and good. So that looks that looks okay. What's going on, Sir Joseph? Yeah, so the leather's pretty nice and, and, and flexible, or the vinyl, or whatever this is, really nice. I did try to clean it before I put it away, but looks like the screen is all good. My mom's handmade quilt there that she got made for me. Yeah, it looks all good. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing myself a channel because I see people do the RV stations. I got the uh, dual tank put on at the end of the year when I had it winterized. Sue, was, uh, Sue, a good friend of Sue's, was showing us how to do it, but I was all wimpy. Anyway, I got me an electric um, whatever that thing is because I didn't want to keep cranking it, so I had that put on. Uh, I had the double tanks put on. It's not a lot of weight. Don't worry about that, folks. I even checked this stuff here, and what I noticed, look at this. When I brought it back home, look at this. So it looks like the little nails. What's going on there, Stuart? And the little, look good in the Porsche? I'm doing a little, right? Yeah, that's Joseph, he's sitting there chilling out. So now I'm going to have to get this repaired. Some people would just leave it like the way it is, but I'm not like that. I want all my stuff nice. So I'm going to have to probably get Zach, the neighbor, to fix those. I think those staples that like pulled out. I'm going to find something to store that's nice because I don't like it all like that. So I'm going to get, I bought me a lot of 31 from a friend of mine. So I'm going to get everything all organized. So here's the specs on our trailer. We have a forest river. It was made in 2018, but when they bought, when we bought it, they told it was, <laughs> it was 2019. Okay, so that's funny. Um, I guess the front weight is. Uh, I don't know anything about this stuff, but I hear them talking about it on the videos. But it's 3,500 pounds. I guess it's dry with nothing in it, right? 
and it shows um, all the configurations, the tire stuff. So when we got our uh, trailer, we made doggone sure. We didn't just go to the trailer person and say, hey, what's the deal? Can we just get this trailer? And will it fit on our car? We knew they would just say yes, just for us to buy it. So what we did, when I went to get my car, Sue had her car first. When I got my car, I had it special made, made sure that it had the tow package built in, everything was good. So, so, so far, so good. This side looks good. Now, Sue told me I have to get on top of this, but I don't know how that's going to work out. I have to give me a ladder or something. So, open this stuff up and make sure nothing's um, going to come out. Okay, so I need to clean that up for sure. This is the heater or something like that. Or the water heater maybe or the whatever. So before I uh, get that cranked up, I'm gonna have to check that out for sure. Make sure there's nothing in there. So fresh water holding tank. I don't know how many gallons it holds, but I'll figure that out. Here's the back of the fridge. So I'll open that up and see what's in there. I'll open up the shower thing. It has an outdoor shower. Don't worry, we don't use the outdoor shower. I, haven't, I connected the water, but I haven't turned it on yet. I connected the, the power, and just to make sure that was working. So that's the outside walk around. I just have to check the, the roof there. So I'm gonna clean this up, the awning. Doesn't take a lot. My neighbor, Stacy, uh, showed me some stuff that they use. Um, forget the name of it, but it cleans it up really good. So I cleaned it up before I stored it. And this is what it looked like after however many months of being stored there. So recreational vehicle, it's got the VIN number there. The dry weight, yeah, so dry weight is 3,433 pounds. So that's dry. So it's green certified. All that good stuff like that. And because I'm not a handyman, I made sure that I got every doggone warranty I could get. So I just have to drive it to the place. All right, move, Jojo. So here's my grandson's toys. He's only allowed those. <laughs> his little step stool. Because his side of the... Here's his side of the trailer here, the grand boys. It's just not down yet. So I gotta take that down, make sure that's okay. I always check all these little facing things. Cause you know, these, they're pretty good, but it looks, I don't wanna say it looks a, a cheap, but if you don't keep it up, it will go bad on you, I'm sure of it. So all the cabinets are empty now. Got more paperwork that says don't take out. So I'll start bringing some stuff out already. I'll bring it a little bit out of time because everything is about weight. My radio is working. Okay. So we have it packed the same way all the time. Everything's about uh, being light. So of course, since we do Tupperware, we want everything light. So we know we're gonna have a shaker cup, so that stays here, because we're always gonna use a shaker cup. Maybe it's doing um, omelets or something. We have our two uninsulated coffee cups right there. But we have two uninsulated, they're gonna be coming out soon. We have our pasta maker. It does more than pasta. We have our breakfast maker. It does more than breakfast. You know, so this is gonna get filled up with the uh, modular mates. I'm going to be adding a second row down here of the little hook things because I like to have, I just like to have all the tools because I will be doing my cooking shows in here. So this is not going to be here. When I, when I put no, row number two, there's going to be a row here. And then I'm going to have the little stuff like this down here. You know, so I'll have my big ladle at the top, little ladle at the bottom. Stuff like that, right? So... Here's the stove. We don't use the stove ever. We do 
all microwave cooking because all the stuff we have with Tupperware is basically for the microwave. It's there, but it's good having neighbors. So I have the new neighbor that's between Stuart and Stacy. I forget his name, but he's a, a, a wood wood worker or craftsman by trade, and he's gonna come in. He's gonna make me handmade. He's gonna make me a thing that goes in the sink here to cover it. I've tried to get several store-bought options and it just didn't work right uh, because when I when I'm preparing stuff I don't have a lot of counter space so I wish that I would have gotten this without the burner but you never know okay so I'm gonna have him do something to cover this and cover that and we have the microwave down here and I always make sure that Okay, so the plate's not broken. I'm going to get something in there to put around the plate when we travel, too. So far, so good. So that's the plate for that. Here's where my grandson's toys are going to go. Down here. And here's some storage right under the sink. So that's going to have stuff uh, like for washing dishes, things like that. And we only bring the stuff that we need to bring. So this is... It's just, it's not going to have extra stuff that's just here. Over here, we have the bathroom. And when we went to pick out the trailer, since I'm a big guy, and I'm a tall guy and I'm a big guy, I went inside of every trailer, and I sat down on the toilet and shut the door and see if my knees <laughs> hit the door, or if I could stand up in, in the shower, right? So I want to make sure I can stand up in the shower, and I can definitely stand up in the shower in this. And even when I close it, it I don't I don't touch, you know, so that's pretty good. So I have a full stand-up shower. It doesn't even creak when I uh step in it, so that's great. I've been seeing uh more uh vent fans. I forget what they call them, but I've been watching a lot of RV shows, and it's just a little wee thing here, right? But I seen them they have some really nice ones, so that's probably gonna be an upgrade we put in there. I forget what they call those, but they are, um, and then we don't want a composting toilet or anything like that, so we have a full toilet. It's got the, um, the stuff in it from the, whatever you call that pink stuff that they put in to winterize it. We have a nice little sink there, which is really good. Got to get all that stuff, and there's all the controllers for, like, the hot water, the tanks and stuff like that. Then we have the mirror. And stuff like that. So it's a full, full size bathroom. Right over here, there's a place for a TV hookup. So we're definitely going to get the uh, TV hookup put up in here. It says TV backer. So I'm probably going to get something with a swivel arm or something like that. I did measure it across, and it's pretty long across, but it's not deep. So I think I'll have to get the arm, and then it like comes out or something like that. I don't know. Here's our Dominic. Uh, refrigerator so it needs to be cleaned the door was supposed to be left open so i thought i left the door open i did not leave the door open so now i'm gonna have a lot of cleaning in front of me because i forgot to leave the doggone door open so no big deal i'll just get that cleaned up i did turn it on to make sure it's going to start cooling because the first year we had it when we put it in storage the first time that we stored it we got it back out the refrigerator wouldn't work and they and and we could not get the the, the uh, RV for like three months, so that was a bomber. So I'm going to make sure the thing works now. And if it does not work, we're not going with this butane or propane thing or whatever. We're just going to get a. I've been watching the videos. They can put like regular powered um, uh, refrigerators in there. There's our thermostat. The heater works really nice. It's just a little thing here. And it will put you out, let me tell you. There's our inverter box with all the power stuff. I don't know what that stuff is. I don't touch it. But it's right there, so I'm going to have to clean all the dust out. I'll do all that before we get it on the road. Uh, the holding tank is under here, I believe. If I move this out the way, I think the holding tank is here. Okay, so that's bolted down. So that must be bolted down for a reason. So it's got a screw in there, so I'm not gonna mess with it. It's a screw on both sides. So that's my cue to not mess with anything if it's got a, if it has screws on it. That means do not touch. 
So we got this set up here because this folds down to a bed. So this side, this comes down. It fits right on these uh, two rails here. If I can see it there. It fits on those two rails. So this makes the bed here on this side. And on this side, again, like I said, when we were looking for it, we were looking for maximum capacity. So that's queen. My Believe it or not, when my head's at the top, my feet don't even touch the bottom. And it's big enough for myself, Sue, and Sir Joseph Bernard to get on it. So on this side here, we have the, 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 the pull-out bed here. So there's a bed here that can fit a teenager very comfortably on that side. A teenager very comfortably on this side. Two adults in here. Two adults over there. So this is basically... Or, if I'm snoring, Sue's on this side. I'm on the back side facing all the bears and stuff. <laughs> and then one side will be for Preston. And one side will be for Knox, right? Parents are not allowed to come with us. Not happening. <clears throat> so, that's all easy to do with... With basically one hand. Then we have our storage over here. And I like that they put some, uh, you know, like nice little, and that's textured. You can feel that, that's textured. We have our radio here with Bluetooth. The speaker's underneath. So one thing I'm gonna do is change all the lighting to LED. I already know that. I definitely wanna upgrade the stereo. Definitely wanna do that. KR, KOA is our favorite place so far. So that's I try to pick up stuff every time we go. We have a little journal too that we're keeping. And I want to get something and put it up here so I can stick all my you know things across there. So for privacy, if I'm up in the morning early, because I get up early at six, it has the nice curtain here that just is just velcroed behind. And I even look at all the stuff like this. When I'm looking at these things, I'm looking at these to make sure they're not broken. Because I don't want anything that's what we call in the South raggedy. Right? So if it's broken, I want to get it fixed right away. So that's really nice. It keeps um, the light out of the one side there. And on that side, that unzips. On that side, it unzips too. Here's our last set of cabinets. And I'll start bringing some stuff out that we'll use. So we use the stack cooker. So you do something in the bottom, something in the middle, something on top. That's one of the things we use all the time. We use the pressure cooker. And you already saw the pasta maker. The only thing I have left to bring out is the micro pro grill that goes right here. So when we do grilling, uh, if we're doing hash browns or anything like that in the morning for breakfast or bacon, we do it in the grill. So that goes here. We have our rice maker that goes here. And then we have our that's a bowls that go on the top. So that's both. So between the pressure cooker, the stack cooker, the micro pro grill, the rice cooker and the pasta maker, we, we don't do anything else. So if we want to do hamburgers, we use the micro pro grill. If we want to do steak or chicken and grill it, we use the micro pro grill. So, we like to, you know, we go out there to the lakes and stuff like that, <laughs> but we just look at it. We just, we look at it out of the window. So I don't go putting my feet in the lake unless it's clear like a pool. No, 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 no. So we look out the window. That's what we do. We pull our little trailer behind us and we go into a lakefront property and we park it so we can look at the lake and that's what we do. We look out the window, right, Joe? Just like we have the lake across the street from us here. All right? So there's my Jeep there. And Sue's car. And then my car's on the tarp. And that's how we roll. Right, Jojo? So, Jojo, you ready to hit the road, bro? I know it. You're just a handsome boy there. Okay, guys. So that's it for me. We're going to be getting her all cleaned up and put a good wash on her. A good wash and wax inside, outside. I don't see anything broken but the little thing under the... Um, the door there, I ordered, like I said, me some um, uh, 31 from my friend there, Cindy Seal. So I have all custom bags that say Vincent RV. 
And it says Gigi and Paw Paw. And then for the grandkids, it says Preston and Knox. So we're ready to go and get all of our stuff all packed up. And if nothing else, we're just going to be uh, camping out here in the front yard, right? All right. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I'm going to start a whole YouTube channel, the Vincent RV Adventures. We'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.